Hey gang, Sparky with electricalindustrynetwork.com. I wanted to show you a program that I've been using for uh, drawing electrical diagrams and stuff. It's called Smart Draw. And I've had it for a couple years, but doing the electrical drawings or diagrams, wiring diagrams and everything for the YouTube videos um, became, became kind of a challenge in, let's say, like PowerPoint or something like that. This one gives me the flexibility of adding more visuals in the sense of, um, you know, like this one here with the with the different colors and drawing the bus bars and and lugs and stuff like that. A lot of these components are already uh, pre-built into the program, which makes it really neat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple that I've already done. Two of them I put up. One of them I'm I just put through together a minute ago. But uh, and then I'll just show you a little bit about the program. It's uh, it's really cool. Uh, I'm not an affiliate or anything. I'm just uh, passing this on just in case you're interested in doing some electrical drawings. You might recognize this one from um, I think this was my basic three-phase motor for the car wash. It comes with all these symbols in here, and they're, it's just simple. It's you know you hit the hit your library here and put it into your diagram and make your adjustments however you want. I'll show you that in a second uh, when I get started on the the actual video itself of uh, the software. But anyway, uh, this one here I just threw together. Um, this one only took me a few minutes to do. I inserted my my panel and outlets and the uh, amount of wires, neutrals, grounds, um, put in doors, windows. It's really a pretty slick program and again I like it because I can do more than just the electrical line drawings, a one line drawing or schematic or something like this. I could I could do everything in this program and that's what I like the most. So let's take a look at a couple of things in the program itself that uh, makes it really easy to use. Okay, this is Smart Draw's uh, main panel here as far as setting up and finding your templates and stuff like that. You can see under the engineering, uh, you've got uh, basic electrical, office plans. I, now, I didn't draw these. These are all templates that were already uh, within the program. You can do fluid power, HVAC, all sorts of things in here. Makes it really, really simple to put together a, a drawing or whatever you want. You got engineering diagrams, block diagrams, and the list goes on. You have other things in here, uh, charts, and you know, here's some floor plans. I, I believe they just updated this. So we've got some commercial items in here, office cubicle layouts. It's a great way to get started if you want to um, you know, start doing your own drawings and then you can just adjust these as you go along. So let's go back into uh, see if we can get us a blank page here. I got us into a blank page and this particular one goes into the architectural drawings. It's got add walls in here so if you want to start drawing and, and adding your own walls um, the beginning of your this will get you started into the basics. So I've got it set up to start adding walls and so I could just click, click, click and drag, whatever you want to call it. So I've got me a square room there and I don't really like the color green so we change it to black, press escape and that gets you out of adding the single walls. Now I want to put a door in here and as you can see the little anchor point there that'll show you which way the doors go on and, and how you can add it in and then if you want to add some windows in there um, just go down to windows put a 36 inch window in right about there and if I want to add more than one window all I gotta do is hit shift and then I can hit the different spots and add as many windows as I want 
hit escape, then you're out of there. So let's get to the electro electrical portion of it. We're going to go look in the libraries here. you got symbol libraries under engineering. You've got the IECs, EEs, industrial automation, electrical, uh, industrial electrical, the NECA, all sorts of things in here to, to help you get started. And you can just uh, um, go ahead and open up any of these. Some of the symbols are a little off kilter a little bit from what I'm used to seeing, but they're um, they're they're pretty close to what they are. Let's say we want to add a couple emergency lights in there. We'll open up that library over here, close that down. Emergency light. I'm going to hit Shift so I can do more than one. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. Six. Now there's other ways of doing this, and obviously you're not going to put all night lights in there, but just as an example, hit escape to get out of that. And let's see, we want to put a couple strip lights in there. Let's put one in the middle, three in the middle, a couple out here. So as you can see, this is really pretty easy to use. Now I want to find me some outlets. So we'll go back into the libraries and we'll go down and find outlets and receptacles and we'll open that library opens up back over here close that get it out of the way let's put a couple duplexes in there double duplexes I'm sorry you want to resize it now you can do another thing that you can do is you can hit uh, control D and you can get them and then you can just move them around as you want that's another way of doing it or you could use the uh, the shift method that I showed you earlier now we've got that and we want to install some switches now so let's take and get in here and find the switches switches are down here and we're just gonna put uh, some single pole switches in there open the library and I'm going to do, um, I think what I'll do here is I did shift click and then I can put the switches in one, two, and escape out of there. So I have to open this up just a little bit, but it's alright. It only takes a second to do to, to resize it a little bit, rotate it, I mean. Get it rotated and we'll just click it back down to size it takes a little practice but it's it really is really easy to use so let's take and rotate that I like that one better so we'll delete that one out take that one control D duplicated it put that right there move this one right down there now we got our two switches and we want to run our um, lines out there conduits or whatever you want to say here and we'll hit the uh, switch to the first light it's a little thick so I'm going to change my line thickness and go down there we go, that's better there. And then sometimes you can see in these drawings that they just go to the first light fixture, then you have to figure out the rest of them. Um, it all really depends on who's doing the drawing. So I'm going to go down to that one, and I don't like it being that way, so I just grab it in the middle, move it on over, and that gets me over into these. Now if I want to um, do my loops into all this. I just hit the shift key, hit that line, and I can go into there, I can go into there, escape to get out of it. I don't like to get all this too, uh, too jammed up in the middle there, so I'll throw it out. 
and I am doing this quick I mean you can make this a lot neater uh, you can put little junction boxes in here if you want and do the complete line I'm not going to draw the whole thing out but you get the basic idea okay now let's go in and find the um, hashtags and let's we'll go down there you got to get to know this a little bit uh, it takes a little bit of time to find out where everything's at where it's uh, located and we'll get into some of the uh, hashtags here and we'll open up that library and then we can just go ahead and fit some of these in there and you can do the same thing just you know control duplicate control D and just move them around to wherever you need so anyway this is uh, just a introduction to uh, the smart draw um, I find it very easy to use very helpful and if you have any questions uh, I'll be happy to answer them um, I could show more of these a little bit later on but uh, this one's this video has gone on long enough <laughs> so anyway thanks for watching have a great day and uh, sparky with electrical industry network.com and I'll talk at you later have a great day